hello YouTube, it's your girl Janae coming at you with another video and if you're new to my channel, hi again my name is Janae and if you're returning, thank you so so much for clicking back on this video. If you have not already, make sure you subscribe and you turn on that bell notification so you're notified every single time I upload. I will upload two to three times a week. I'm trying to figure out a good schedule now so... We'll figure it out. As you can tell by the title, this is gonna be my four to six week pregnancy updates. I'm doing it this way just because I wanted to wait a little bit before I started doing my pregnancy updates. And actually in two days I have my initial OB appointment so I'll be able to see baby. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me so that's why you should subscribe so you can see that vlog. But yes, I am so excited to let you guys know how these past couple weeks have been. And if you are interested in seeing my four to six week update then go ahead and just keep on watching okay so this pregnancy update is gonna be kind of different from the ones that are gonna be to come I am going to just show you guys what the baby looks like on the pregnancy app that I have tell you like the specs of baby how baby is developing and I'm gonna also talk about my symptoms and my craving slash aversions and that's about it that I'm gonna be doing for these three weeks that I'm gonna be talking about if you don't like long videos I will put a timestamp in the description box of each week whenever I start talking about those weeks because I know some people don't like watching long videos and I want to go ahead and help you guys out so yeah <laughs> grab a snack though because this is going to be a long one so the pregnancy app that i'm currently using is called pregnancy plus and i truly like this app because it shows you this 3d image of baby that's currently what baby looks like at seven weeks because i'm currently seven weeks but i'm going to go back to four weeks and show you what baby looked like so this is what baby looks like at four weeks you can turn it around like that you also can see how big it actually is oh my god the, the light you can actually see how like you see how tiny the baby is that's that that was the actual size at four weeks baby was the size of a poppy seed some of the information says following implantation embryonic cells start to differentiate and separate into embryonic disc and establish three primary germ layers First layer will form the digestive system, liver, and lungs of your baby. The second layer will form the heart, muscles, kidneys, and bones. And the third layer will form the nervous system, skin, hair, and eyes. Oh, so interesting. Again, that's what baby looks like. A blob. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. But let's, let me go to my notes to let you guys know what happened that week. This is kind of starting off where my last video left off. If you did not see my two week weight symptoms slash live pregnancy test, I'll go ahead and leave it in the eye in the sky above. But this is kind of how this started off. So three weeks and six days is when I took that pregnancy test and I found out that I was pregnant. I called my reproductive endocrinologist and let them know that I had a positive home pregnancy test and then they told me to go ahead and get my blood drawn and that's what I did. So I got my blood drawn, that was a Tuesday. Then that Thursday I had to go back and get another blood draw to see if my beta levels doubled. I went in, got my blood drawn and my HCG level was 176. So at three weeks and six days, my HCG level was 176. Two days later, I went back and my HCG level was 610 so it tripled <laughs> and I was like okay what is going on but I did look it up HCG levels really do not determine if you're having twins or not some people just have more of the pregnancy hormone in their body and some people don't so during my four weeks I was exhausted I felt just not like myself I was kind of crampy I was very thirsty and I had an increased appetite but what I noticed about my increased appetite was that I never felt full like I could eat more than normal and I still didn't feel full which was pretty weird to me I had frequent urination a lot of like gas so like burping passing gas I had my my side boob started to get sore so like right under my armpit is when like where my boobs started to get a little sore and okay TMI alert whatever I already talked about boobs and stuff I don't care if like if you guys are like 
wanting to talk about pregnancy symptoms and stuff like it's gonna be TMI but I noticed in four weeks that I had very watery discharge very very watery discharge and that's not normal for me so that was something that I was kind of like mm. I really didn't feel bloated that week I just felt kind of crampy and kind of like I was trying to come down with the cold or something like I just didn't really feel well um, but I could still do my daily activities, work out, stuff like that. Like, it wasn't anything crazy. I just kind of felt more tired than normal. Kind of like when you're coming down with something, you just want to lay in bed. Four weeks, I really didn't have any aversions at all, really. Um, I guess room temperature water was something that I wasn't really too fond of. Cravings, I really didn't, I really didn't have cravings at that time. I just ate whatever I wanted to. That's pretty much it. I really, four weeks wasn't really, it wasn't really a big, a big week. For me. Week five, baby was the size of a grain of rice. And the specs that it says for week five, your little one now has a two chambered heart, which basically looks like a tube that is twisted back onto itself. The heart starts beating on or around day 21 after conception, day 35 of pregnancy. Your baby's spinal cord is beginning to form and your baby is growing a thin layer of skin to cover everything up. So that's nice. This is what baby looked like at week five. Week five, I started to have spotting. And I don't know if you guys know, but if you don't know, back in March of 2018, I suffered an ectopic pregnancy after my first IUI. So I lost the baby and I just have this fear of losing my baby because of what happened in the past. Granted, like ectopic pregnancies, it just happens sometimes. You just can't really control them. Miscarriages, they just happen sometimes. You cannot control them. But I really just do not want to go through that again and I'm I've just been really afraid I went to the ER I got my beta drawn and at five weeks zero days exactly five weeks my HCG level was 6133 and I had my first ultrasound that day so they wanted to rule out ectopic pregnancy I do have footage but you can't See anything so I really just I feel like it'll be a waste of time for me to post that video in this video but we did see the gestational sac I do not have an ectopic pregnancy it is in my uterus it is in the right spot but I still have that bit of anxiety until I see the heartbeat like I want to see the heartbeat I want to make sure everything looks good before I get all high this week is when the nausea started to kick in. It's not like I was ready to throw up my guts. Like, no. It's It was just like a faint, like, mm, I don't really feel good. Like, I don't really feel good. I was also cramping that week. Not a ton. It wasn't like period cramps. It was very mild. Very mild on both sides. It wasn't, it wasn't anything that I was concerned about. I was just concerned about the spotting. And the spotting was like a brown discharge. So it was brown. It wasn't red. It wasn't like a period. I had to wear a panty liner because I don't want all that stuff in my underwear. But it wasn't anything too crazy. Same thing with week four and week five. I just could not get full. Like I could eat and I just do not feel full. Like I did not feel full at all I just felt like I could keep going but if I ate too much I would get nauseous so like kind of like if you feel kind of car sick that's kind of how I how I felt like it just kind of felt like I was car sick week five is when my nipples started to get sore like I was like okay like that just came out of nowhere so my side boobs hurt and my nipples started to hurt oh and in week five I started to get the most sensitive skin like I used a face wash girl when I tell you like I broke out like my whole face had bumps all on it and I don't have acne prone skin I do have sensitive skin but my skin isn't that sensitive to where face washes and stuff break me out like that it does not happen so week five my skin was very sensitive and I was so moody like so moody like at the drop of a hat I would get 
angry, like, like irate, like, I couldn't, I can't tell you how many arguments me and Ashley got into for no reason. Like, it was for a reason, but like, they were like petty arguments, like, where to put the bed in the house. Like, you know, like, it's so stupid. Cravings and aversions. Cravings, I could not get enough of Popeyes. I get Popeyes, the popcorn shrimp with the, with the fries. Ooh. And I don't like spicy food whatsoever. But spicy food, like, with, like, I've been putting hot sauce on, like, my chicken and, like, my popcorn shrimp. I, I'm telling y'all, I do not like spicy food, but it has been so good to me. <laughs> it has been so good to me. Oh, and carbs. Carbs? Anything carbs. Bread, pasta, Popeyes, like, carbs have been sounding so good like week five that was what that was my jam i really didn't even want to eat meat to be honest i just wanted carbs like that's it aversions i really didn't have any aversions in week five surprisingly i really didn't have any aversion week six baby is the size of a blueberry which is so cute and let's see what the specs are. The brain is developing fast, making your baby's head much larger in proportion to the rest of its body. The inner ear takes shape and the eyelids begin to develop. Your baby's eyes are starting to form. Cartilage is beginning to form in the arm and leg buds, which will eventually develop into strong bones. This is what baby looks like in week six. I love how you can see the little heartbeat. You can see it beating. So cute. Week six wasn't as eventful with symptoms, but the symptoms I did have were real. So week six, I had mild cramps on both sides. So basically these last three weeks I've been cramping, not, not painful cramps, but they're there. I feel them. I do not feel well whatsoever. Like I feel so sick all the time like i almost threw up twice in week six but i was a g i held it i had i had i had to hold it down it was rough it was rough so i've been nauseous all day just feeling sick as hell my boobs are growing y'all like i'm only seven weeks like the, i was six weeks like my boobs are growing i have blue veins coming out the woodwork <laughs> I never had, like I've, I've noticed like some veins like before I got pregnant, but now they're like veins, like you can see them, like you see them, see them. What else? Oh, dizziness. Dizziness is another symptom from this week. I cannot get out of bed too quickly or get off the couch too quickly or stand up too quickly because I will get dizzy. I will start to see black spots and then I'm like, whoa, hold on. From week four to week six, like, I have a constant headache like it does not go away nothing makes it better I'm not taking Tylenol though because I really don't want to take extra medication so that might be on me but and last but not least since I feel nauseous all the time I do not have an appetite like I do not want to eat anything like everything sounds gross like nothing really sounds good water ugh, like gross like ugh. oh my god and i keep forgetting thirst like i'm so thirsty i cannot drink enough water but it's like i don't want water so it's like i don't really know what to drink instead i have been sipping on gatorade i'm trying to get some type of electrolytes or something like that but water is just not it for me. And I love water. Like I like I don't I don't know a few vlogs back I showed y'all like I drink almost a gallon a day naturally. And water has just not been the move for me at all. Like it has not been the move. Oh my god, and constipation. Like I've been constipated. I keep forgetting. That might be another symptom. Pregnancy brain. Constipation. I think it's because I'm not hydrating like I'm supposed to, but it's nasty. Like I'm not, I can't, I it's hard for me to force myself to drink something that's so gross to me right now. Cold water, room temperature water, sparkling water, everything just sounds nasty to me. All I want is like Gatorade or like apple juice. Like I really don't want any water 
whatsoever. It's gross. Oh my gosh. I forgot to talk about this symptom, and this is one of the most important symptoms of week six. My sense of smell has intensified. My dog had an accident in the house, and I smelt it in my sleep. Like, I woke up out of my sleep because of his accident. And I'm just like, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. Like, I literally, well, I would have never woken up, ever. But I smelt his mistake in the house and it woke me up out of my sleep. It was the weirdest thing. So, cravings for week six. I have been obsessed, obsessed with those damn Scooby snacks you get from Walmart, them gummies. They have been my ride or die. And fruit, bananas, blueberries, strawberries, and fruit snacks. Those have been my jam. And I recently just got a bag of hot Cheeto puffs. Bruh, fire, <laughs> fire. So I noticed since I really don't have an appetite if I snack, even on unhealthy things, I guess, just to have food in me, it does make me feel a little better. I did buy some crackers as well, so I'm snacking on those, trying to sip on some water just to get something in my belly. But the struggle is real struggle is real aversions everything everything like nothing sounds good at all like i don't really want anything i made chicken the other day mm -mm. i made chili the other day couldn't even eat it i wanted it but i couldn't eat. it's just week six was the week of i don't want that i don't like that i don't want that <laughs> so aversions was everything i didn't want anything anything at all Oh, so, I apologize for the long video guys, but I really wanted to get this update out to you all I really hope you all enjoyed watching this video and again if you have not already Please make sure you comment like and subscribe because I don't want you guys to miss this journey I don't want you guys to miss another upload and I cannot wait to show you guys what's to come I love you all so so much and thank you again for watching mm -hmm.